Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at DynamoDB Streams. DynamoDB Streams capture data modification events in DynamoDB tables, such as new items being added, item updates and deletions. Data change events are recorded in the stream in near real-time, in the same order as the events occurred. For example, when a new item is added to the table, the stream captures an image of the entire item, including all of its attributes. When you update an item, the stream captures an old image and a new image of the item, before and after the modification. When you delete an item, the stream also captures the deleted item, so you can run some post-deletion process. Each event captured in the stream is represented by a stream record. A stream record contains an image of the change, table name, event timestamp, and other metadata. Stream records have a lifetime of 24 hours. After 24 hours, they are automatically removed from the stream. You can use DynamoDB streams together with AWS Lambda to create a trigger that executes automatically when an event of interest appears in a stream. For example, you can create a trigger to send a welcome email whenever a new customer has been added to the DynamoDB table. DynamoDB streams also work with DynamoDB global tables. Global tables uses streams behind the scene to replicate data across multiple regions. A stream record contains information about data modification to a single item, for example, each stream record has one of the following event names, including insert, modify and remove, which indicates put item, update item or delete item. You can configure streams to capture additional information of the modified items, such as the before and after images. DynamoDB guarantees that each stream record appears exactly once in the stream. For each item that is modified in the table, the stream records appear in the same sequence as the modifications. Each stream record is encrypted at rest and stored for 24 hours in DynamoDB streams. The data in the stream will continue to be readable for 24 hours and automatically removed after that. You can enable a stream when you create a new table, enable or disable stream on an existing table, or change settings of a stream at any time. DynamoDB streams operates asynchronously, as there is no performance impact on a table when you update a stream. You can configure a stream with one of the following options, their keys only, new image, old image, and new and old images. By default, the keys only option allows the stream to only record the primary key of the modified item. The new image option allows the stream to record all attributes after the modification. The old image option allows the stream to record all attributes before the modification. With the new and old images option, your stream can record images before and after the modification. AWS maintains separate endpoints of DynamoDB and streams. To work with database tables and indexes, your application must access DynamoDB endpoints. To read and process streams records, your application must access a streams endpoint in the same region. Both DynamoDB and streams endpoints are region-based. You need to specify the regions when you need to access these endpoints. The stream endpoint name starts with streams.dynamodb, plus the regional AWS host. For example, for the US East 1 region the DynamoDB endpoint is, dynamodb.us-east1.amazonaws.com. The stream endpoint is, streams.dynamodb.us-east1.amazonaws.com. AWS SDKs provide separate clients for DynamoDB and streams APIs. With the DynamoDB client, your application can access data from tables and indexes via DynamoDB APIs. The Streams client enables your application to process stream records via Streams APIs. Your applications can connect to the DynamoDB and Streams APIs by instantiating the clients. Stream records are organized into shards. Each stream has multiple shards, and each shard has multiple stream records. A shard contains information about how you can iterate through the stream records. Each stream record is assigned a sequence number, reflecting the order in which the record was published to the stream. Shards are ephemeral, as they can be created, deleted or split into multiple shards automatically. Stream records within a shard are removed automatically after 24 hours. When there are high write activities on a table, more records are published to the stream. A shard might split automatically to allow applications to process records in parallel. Shards in the stream have a parent and children relationship. You must always process the parent shard before the child shard to ensure stream records are processed in the correct order. DynamoDB Streams API provides the following operations. 
List Streams returns a list of stream descriptors for the current account and endpoint, or for a particular table. Describe Stream returns the detailed information of a stream, such as a list of associated shards with the shard IDs. Get Shard Iterator returns a shard iterator, which describes a location within a shard. You can request that the iterator provide access to the oldest or newest point, or a particular point in the stream. Get Records returns the stream records from within a given shard. Each stream record contains some detailed information of a record, including the event name and stream record. The event name indicates the type of modification performed on the table, for example, the event name can be insert, modify, or remove. The stream record contains the main body of the record, including the primary key for the item that was modified, the new image and old image, and a sequence number. DynamoDB Streams is integrated with Lambda. You can enable Lambda triggers to automatically respond to the stream events. With Lambda triggers, you can build logic inside a Lambda function, to respond to data modifications in DynamoDB, such as publishing stream events to SNS, and sending email notifications. Suppose you are building an order process for your online shopping site. You can create Lambda triggers to respond to the new orders. Every time when a new order item is added into the DynamoDB orders table, a new stream record is published in the table stream. When the new stream record is added, Lambda pulls the stream and invokes the Lambda function synchronously. You can implement some post-order process in the Lambda function, such as sending order confirmation emails using SNS. You can configure SNS to send notifications to multiple endpoints, such as an email address, SQSQs, or even another Lambda function to perform more tasks. With streams and Lambda triggers, you can build complex workflow to automatically respond to certain stream events. DynamoDB Streams only writes a stream record for a data modification in the table. For instance, if the put item or update item request doesn't modify the item, DynamoDB Streams won't record any changes, no stream record is created. As a best practice, no more than two processes should read from one shard at the same time. More than two readers per shard may result in throttling. When there are more write requests in the DynamoDB table, that results in higher write activities in the stream, DynamoDB streams might split shards to allow the application to process different shards in parallel. You can use Lambda triggers to invoke Lambda functions to automatically respond to the stream events, for example, your Lambda function can publish stream events to an SNS topic and send notifications to other AWS services. To use DynamoDB global tables, you need to enable the stream on the table. Global tables replicates items and ongoing changes across regions via DynamoDB streams. When you use DynamoDB TTL, you can enable DynamoDB streams to back up expired items deleted by TTL. In this episode, we've learned the DynamoDB streams. DynamoDB streams capture data modification events in DynamoDB tables, such as new items being added, item updates and deletions. Data change events are recorded in the stream in near real time, in the same order as the events occurred. Each change event is represented by a stream record. Each stream record contains an image of the changed item, the name of the table, the event timestamp, and other metadata. Stream records have a lifetime of 24 hours. After 24 hours, they are automatically removed from the stream. You can use Lambda triggers to invoke Lambda functions to automatically respond to the stream events. To use DynamoDB global tables, you need to enable the stream on the table. Global tables uses streams behind the scene to replicate data across multiple regions. Okay, that's all for DynamoDB streams. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudomy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudomy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning!